used soft plastics like these guys, Senkos with the white belly, the finesse worm, and these little curl tails. Shoot up, tore up. All we did was take them, remelt them, and now they're gonna have a whole new life. What's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. I got one for you today that I've kind of done before, but I've never actually fished with them. What that is, is making my own baits. I've never actually done a video where I fished with my baits that I've made and caught fish in this way. But check this out, here's what I'm doing. I'm taking used soft plastics like these guys. I've sorted them all out by color in there. I'm taking them. I'm putting them in like, you wouldn't believe it, but that's some colors that I've made before that I just had extra of. There's a bunch of black, red, white. If you were on my live stream that I do on Wednesday nights, um, we actually made these baits live. And these were recommended uh, by the subscribers just like yourself. They told me to make a Senko, do some white and blue. Boom, it's like a sexy shad Senko. That is a fire color. We're gonna do is since we've got some crazy colors, I'm gonna go with some standard like pumpkins, green pumpkins. Really, all I can do with this is just grab generic colors and melt them down. Because again, they're used soft plastics. We don't really know what we're getting here. That's the name of the game. We're gonna quickly shoot up some baits and some like little curl tails, some finesse baits, um, some more Senkos, some more stingers, the uh, little creature baits. We're gonna make those up. And then we're gonna go to the water and we're gonna fish with them. So hang tight, we're gonna do like some time lapse or quick shots of me uh, mixing all this up, let's go. All right, so this one's gonna have like a green pumpkin or pumpkin colored with just a bunch of random glitter because again, these are reused baits. On top, pearl white on bottom, just a lot of random pearl whites that I've got over the, over the last year or so. So that's what we're gonna do in a finesse and a Senko. Um, and we may even do that in like a creature style bait here shortly. Or what my Senkos. Bam. White on bottom. It's almost like a bass color, like a baby bass. So this should be my finesse worms. Yeah, I like the way these finesse worms came out. Just a half and half white on bottom, green on top, creature bait. Blam. Same color. That green pumpkin on top, white on bottom. Big old curly tail, same thing. All right, folks, so what we have done is we have made a lot of baits out of what essentially doesn't look like we did anything. I mean, there is a ton of soft plastics in there that I've got to remelt and pretty much do this exact same thing to. But we've got, I mean, just loads of them. I'm gonna hang them up real quick and I'm gonna bring you back. So hang on one second. So here are the baits that we've got. We've got these guys, this is the Stinger Mold. Um, it's just like a little beaver style bait, like a little creature bait. We have those in a pumpkin and white belly. We've got a black with a red belly. If you were on my live stream, you saw me make those live. And then we've got one that's just pumpkin here in the back. So we've got three styles of those. And these little curl tails right here. I've got a white belly with pumpkin and then I've got just a straight pumpkin. And the finesse worms, I've got the same thing. A white belly with pumpkin back and then just a regular pumpkin back there. Senkos with the white belly and per, or the white belly with pumpkin, just the pumpkin all the way through, and then a blue with white belly, which would be like a shad. I think those are gonna be dynamite. We're not trying to catch a fish on every single one of these baits, but it would be nice to catch a fish on at least every style of those baits. So finesse worm, Senko, curly tail, and that little beaver style bait. We can put that on a trailer or we can Texas rig it, either way. I would just like to try to catch one on each of those. I think it's gonna be a load of fun. And those are all recycled. Those are all old baits 
that I literally just, they were used up. They had the hooks, you know, gone through them. They were all chewed up, tore up. All we did was take them, remelt them, and now they're gonna have a whole new life, able to catch more fish. This is something we should all really do. I mean, if you don't reuse your on-saw plastics, if you don't have the stuff to, to shoot them in an injection mold, you don't, you don't have a, a pour mold, you don't have all that stuff, I completely understand. But try to save your soft plastics, give them to somebody who does, and uh, have them remelt them for you for like a small fee, for like just a couple bucks. They can heat all that up, remelt them, or even then, a lot of those, uh, last year I remelted and gave just a huge pack of them to a couple of uh, uh, high school teams. I know some of the guys that fish on that high school team just melted a bunch of it into these molds and it's like, here, you know, use them as you wish. They're not any particular color, but it's soft plastics and they're free, so. That's what you guys, I would recommend you guys doing, but let's get to the water. Let's, uh, let's jump forward to tomorrow morning right about. What's going on everybody? We are on the water now. And uh, if you follow any of my live streams, you actually got to help. I'm sorry, I'm cranking this camera thing down so you know y'all don't fall in the water and I lose this very expensive camera. So y'all got to actually see me make some of these baits particularly these Cinco's, the white and blue Cinco's. Chris, we, we're loaded up with baits. I don't even think... Chris is up there driving the boat, getting us ready to fish. Did you see how many baits we've got? Like, we've got Dang, dude. tons. You did crazy, didn't you? About an hour. It only took me an hour. Like, the live stream, y'all, it was slow because I was talking. But ultimately, after the live stream, it took me about an hour, and I just made a, a bunch of them. So we're gonna use these recycled baits and we're gonna give them new life and catch some fish with them. That's the plan, we wanna catch one fish on each type. We've got several different colors. So let's get right into it. Y'all saw how I made them and uh, hopefully it's inspired some of y'all to maybe do the same thing. And uh, let's jump on our chests. Both Chris and I are gonna have our chesties on and we're going to uh, get to it, let's go. All right, so Chris has got the stick bait up there. He's got all the colors. He's, I'm gonna jump to his camera and let him talk to y'all about what y'all are doing. But really quickly, I'm gonna use this finesse bait the uh, six inch finesse and we'll chop off a little bit of the head. It's the white belly with the brown back and I'm gonna put it on a drop shot. You already knew that was gonna happen. All right, so I'm gonna start with the white and blue stick baits designed by Gabin with Gabby. There's also some, what color's that other, is that green? Yeah, we've got just regular green and then we've got a white and green. They look pretty good, all of them look good. But I'm gonna start with the blue one. I got one on. Uh, you'll probably on this drop shot. Oh, got him. Whew, got him on the drop shot finesse worm. Got him through the top. Look at that. Right through the top of the mouth. Whew, that is a chunky little buddy. That's a chunky guy. Putting him in the well for a minute. You know how the saying goes, in the well for the thumbnail. I mean, think I'm gonna put one of those little beaver style baits on a drop shot. Chris has been, hey, you need to put a beaver, beaver, beaver bait on the drop shot. You need to put a beaver bait on the drop shot. I've been reluctant to, but under these circumstances, you know what? I think I think that's a good call. And I think I'm gonna go with that same color, that green back with the uh, white belly. Got off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's a aggressive little guy, isn't he? Ah, I got you. Now he's off. He is in the boat and he counts. Beaver style bait is done. Yeah. It's a little beaver. All right, so there you go. He's a little fella. Not as big as that last one. They're also healthy. This lake is just such healthy fish in it. And no, I'm not telling you what lake we're on. Everybody keeps asking what lake we're on. I ain't telling you. Not gonna happen. Beaver style bait on the drop shot. That was Chris's recommendation, actually. Beaver on the drop shot. All right, here he goes. All right, I'm gonna get the Senko. I'm gonna grab, you're fishing that white and blue. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going with the green and white, except I'm gonna wacky rig it. Just like that. We're gonna wacky rig that little 
bait up right there just like that on a drop shot wacky rig on a drop shot come on now that's wacky changing this hook set on that. That's a good one. Woo! That's a good fish. Yeah, Cinco, baby. That is a good fish. That's quality there. That is a real quality fish. All right, so we only got one left. All we got left is the curly tail. Chris has got the Cinco cleared Woo! for us. Finally contributed. Got on with the Cinco bite. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this bait on this stretch right here. I fully believe. to the game my but man, i'm in the man. game coming in clutch here at the end he was barely hooked oh he was doing those i may have got him on early on the on the drop shot he just put him in on the texas rig all right everybody that's going to do it for this video where we used all the used soft plastic worms and creature baits there you go so chris actually has the two that i caught him on Yep. which is the finesse bait and the creature bait. Then I've got the two he caught them on, which is the old Cinco and then the uh, old curly tail. Oh, what a day it was. So they weren't really hitting soft plastics that much. We were actually out here probably, I'd say close to an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Something like that. Uh, only got four fish. They, they're they're kind of hitting soft plastics, but not really. They're very non-committal. Um, they're all going into post-spawn, so they're trying to feed up, and a lot of them are chasing shad. So it's not really a soft plastic bite but my goodness it was a fun day and we got to give some new life to those old baits if y'all want some of those old baits you know what you need to do leave a comment below on what your favorite bait is out of that bunch what color out of the bunch was your favorite because y'all got to see me uh, make them especially those in the live stream and uh, always hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn it from red to gray um, I will announce the winner in the next video. So you're going to want to hit those ding-dong notifications so you get notified when I drop a new video. And it'll be in the description of the next video. And I will send a pack of an assortment of those baits straight to you. Um, and we've got a lot. I made a lot. I made too many. And I've still got a ton of used plastics to go through. So you guys, as always, why do I always say that? I always say as always. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, just recycling some bait, catching some big fish. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.